Hello, this is the Daily Forex Report for July 20th. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair first. This pair moved higher during today's session, closed higher. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways overall with a bias that is sideways as well. We'll look for it to potentially go as high as 88.02, possibly as low as 86.11. Look for some resistance around 88.00 and look for some support around 86.65. Now looking at the Euro USD pair, this pair closed lower, did break previous resistance, but uh, did move lower and close lower. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 130.98, possibly as low as 127.53. Look for some resistance around 130.25 and look for some support around 128.25. Okay, now the pound US dollar pair. This pair closed down, or closed up rather, did move significantly lower back into the middle of this range, previous range, did move higher, uh, closed higher. We are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with the bias that is sideways. Look for it to potentially go as high as 153.89, possibly as low as 150.55. Look for some resistance around 153.50. And look for some support around 151.51. Now looking at the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair closed lower during today's session. Didn't quite break previous session's high. Had a decent tell on it, uh, but did pull back significantly prior to the close uh, compared to the overall range of the day. Look for it to potentially go as high as 10619, possibly as low as 10394. Look for some resistance around 10575 and look for some support around 10450. Well, as far as news announcements go, we have the Bank of England releasing their minutes for July at 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. Uh, no real consensus on that as the news has already been released. Uh, shouldn't see too much market action off of this. Uh, just something to make note of. Now, looking at the U.S. Swiss, we have a swing trade opportunity to the downside, which is nice because overall our trend has been down. Uh, even since it started moving sideways a little bit, it still has a downward slant. What you want to do here, and this is just to grab a quick scalp. Uh, basically, we're going to grab our trend line, make a trend line between this session's low, today's low, and this session's low. Draw your trend line, then we're going to take a horizontal line and place it right about here, which is kind of in between these two as far as the, uh, the low. So we should see some support kick in within that little range. Remember that support and resistance are ranges more, more than prices typically. Here you can see we got about 30 pip move, 33 pip move. If you line this up exactly at the bottom, it would be about a 30 pip move to the downside. Nice thing about that is that we've seen recently with this session, this session, this session, and this session that prices move through that area fairly quick. The other nice thing is if you line up this area of support, you'll find that it coincides pretty well with this same uh, trend line that we have. Matter of fact, if you take the low here, you can see that it automatically uh, or, or meets up with our trend line. So uh, that's a really good sign. It means that we're going to have either some strong uh, support there and we're going to get a pullback or it's going to push on through and go to the next level of support. Well, the next level of support is right about here, enabling you to grab about 30 pips. The fact that we have a swing trade opportunity uh, that matches all this support and resistance just adds uh, a little bit of fuel to the fire, so to speak, as far as the odds on it continuing down to the downside. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.